Today, we're talking about the changes and improvements found in iOS 8.1.3. As with whenever Apple pushes out an update to iOS, we are of course going to be talking about it right here on my channel. So if you want to know what's new and whether you should or should not update, I would highly recommend subscribing in case you haven't already. But without wasting any more of your precious time, we're going to jump right over into the changelog. This iOS 8.1.3 changelog reads as follows. This release includes bug fixes, increased stability, and performance improvements including reduces the amount of storage required to perform a software update, fixes an issue that prevented some users from entering their Apple ID password for messages in FaceTime, addresses an issue that caused Spotlight to stop displaying app results, fixes an issue which prevented multitasking gestures from working on iPad, and adds new configuration options for education standardized testing. Below there's a security link, but that is arbitrary for the time being. And that is pretty much the gist of iOS 8.1.3. Now, the one thing that stuck out to me in this update was reducing the amount of space required to upgrade. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to help my friends update their phone and they've been out of space. The one plus, I think it was 1.4, 1.5 gigs plus just required to update iOS, which is absolutely crazy. That's over a 15th, 14th, I don't know, some percent of your phone. That's still a ton. Really, Apple, just to update iOS? It could still be relatively high, but I am definitely glad to see the change. That at least Apple has acknowledged that that's an issue for some people, and iOS 8.1.3 reduces the amount, once again, of storage required to perform a software update. But now we're going to be talking about whether you should or shouldn't be updating to iOS 8.1.3. And I'm going to have to unfortunately give my standard answer right now. If you are not jailbroken, you've never heard about jailbreaking, and you don't really fr frankly care what jailbreaking is, then I would highly recommend you go into the settings app or via iTunes and update to iOS 8.1.3 right away because it's got a ton of good updates in here that are only going to make your phone better than it was already. Now, if you are jailbroken like myself and you know what jailbreaking is, and you either are or plan to jailbreak iOS 8, do not update to iOS 8.1.3 right now. As you see on screen right now, we got our infamous tweet from Muscle Nerd stating to stay away from iOS 8.1.3 because it unfortunately patches the TIG and PP jailbreaks. Anyway guys, that is all I have to say relating to iOS 8.1.3. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more content related to iOS and updates and all that good stuff. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one.